What's up guys, Kizzle Kicks here and welcome to episode number 8 of this Crystal Palace FIFA 16 career mode. Now, a couple of things I want to say before we get started. Um, we currently do two games per episode. I might be moving that to three so we can get more action in. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that change go through. And another thing, because of the house move and work and everything like that, I know the videos have been going up at random times recently. I will be putting together some sort of schedule so you guys know exactly when the videos will go live. But let's jump into some action. As you can see, we welcome West Ham here to Selhurst Park. Dwight Gale is the man leading the line. You've got Ledley and Kabai in central midfield. Balassi Zaha on the wing. Sinkraven um, just behind uh, the striker. And the defence pretty much as you were. It has been solid. Um, the last episode, though, we did take the lead in both games, only to concede an equaliser late on. So we'll be looking to, to tighten up the defence, make sure that doesn't happen. And when we do get the lead, that we do not concede at the other end and we're able to see it out and get the three points. We've drawn far too many games this year. If we can start turning those draws into wins, we will go right up the table. But the first chance of the game actually fell to Joel Ward, not known for his goal scoring or finishing ability. His shot from a tight angle uh, caused Adrian a few problems, but he did get down well to save. And now you can see just before the quarter of an hour mark, Balassi going past one, two, three West Ham defenders. Could he apply the finish? Unfortunately not. It was straight into the hands of Adrian. But from that, we uh, we kept up the pressure. Kurt Zuma winning the header from the goal kick. He's been very dominant in the air at the back. This time, it's Kabai who has the effort from distance. It appears to be going a long way wide. Adrian had it covered. But in the end, only, uh, well, say, a couple of feet away, probably. But um, you can see the referee being quite generous to us here, giving us a free kick. Winston Reid just knocking Dwight Gale off the ball. But we thought we'd give Sinkaravan a chance to show us what he can do from set pieces. 35 yards out, left-footed shot. Caused Adran more problems than it probably should have done. He made it, he made it look very difficult, but he does manage to palm it away. And from the resulting corner, it appears to go horribly wrong when we play it short. But Victor Moses with a heavy touch allows Saha to get in. He hits the post. Sinkraven with the follow-up, and it's an absolutely unbelievable save from Adrian. And then West Ham at the other end, who had offered very little throughout the whole first half. In stoppage time, had their first attack. It was Valencia getting down the wing. He goes past the defence really cleverly, far too easily though for my liking. He puts the ball up to the back stick and it's Paye who has the header, but it goes straight into the arms of McCarthy. But moving into the second half, we would hope the game followed a similar pattern that it did in the first and then eventually we'd be hopeful that we could find a way through. But good link-up play here, finds Sinkraven on the edge of the box. He does his best to make space for the shot. He is closed down by two or three defenders and the shot does go wide of the mark. But um, approaching the hour mark now, time for us to make a change. We introduce Jamie Vardy into the game. He's coming on for Gale. Not that Gale done anything wrong, but we're just hoping that Vardy's pace will be able to get us in behind the West Ham back line. And we continue to, uh, to apply pressure. Joe Ledley, who's starting in midfield instead of James MacArthur today, he does his best to, to get a shot away from distance, create space. It's blocked by Og Bonner. And then Winston Reid shows some uh, composure just to head the ball back to his goalkeeper but then Jamie Vardy gets immediately involved he's going past his man could have gone down and got a penalty decided to stay on his feet but the cross was disappointing into the arms of Adrian but Vardy again running the channels working tirelessly he passes the ball out to Zaha puts it back inside to Kabai he lays it off again Ledley on the edge of the box in space he has another effort but it goes straight into the arms of Adrian once more and West Ham they yeah, decided that a point was going to be good enough here. They put everybody back. They decided to keep possession, but a poor ball uh, allowed Berahino, who come on as a sub, to capitalise and play it through to Jamie Vardy, who showed the composure just to cut inside the defender and score with just six minutes remaining. You can see he just brings it onto his left foot and smashes it past Adrian. Um, so really, really pleased that they've had an impact on the game, both of the substitutes. And what I've seen, that is the fans going mental in the background while Jamie Vardy is elated with scoring the goal. But obviously West Ham piled everybody forward in stoppage time at the end of the game. You can see Cresswell, Cuyate up there. It's Cuyate in possession. He kind of goes down a blind alley, but uh, still gets space to, to whip the ball into the box. But luckily for us, the cross was horrendous. And he knows that was the last chance for his side to get anything from this game. So the 84th minute strike from Jamie Vardy was enough to give us all three points and get us back to winning ways. Now, an interesting fixture coming up now. It is going to be Jamie Vardy leading the line at the uh, King Power Stadium, of course, against his former club. So hopefully we can continue winning ways. Of course, the as I said in the previous episode, we usually take the lead and then concede late on. It was nice to actually... I know we only had six minutes to hang on, but it was nice just to keep West Ham at bay and pick up all three points. Because we are scoring goals, not many, um, but we are getting enough. Um, once we go in front, you'd like to think we can see out the game, so that's something we're definitely working on. But Leicester City got very dangerous players in this side. You've got Dyer with plenty of pace. Of course, Mares is having an absolutely storming season 
in real life. So they're the sort of players that we're going to need to keep quiet today. Jamie Vardy coming in. James McArthur is back in the midfield. And then it's pretty much as you were. For the defence, who have been solid this year, we've conceded the, the least amount of goals. So um, not much to change there. It's not an area of concern. Just disappointing that we aren't able to keep leads. But James McArthur has uh, the first effort, 15 minutes in. It's a fairly comfortable save from Kasper Schmeichel. Then Leicester come forward up the other end. It's a real good opportunity. Hammond, the tackle is blocked. Uh, the shot is blocked from Zuma. It falls to, to Kramerich. Um, who puts the ball into the back of the net, but fortunately for us, the linesman has raised his flag for offside. So the score remained at 0-0. You can see Eric Dyer playing the ball into the channel, the, the run that Jamie Vardy loves to make. He's one or two, uh, two defenders to beat. He beats the first one, then decides he's going to try and play it into Sinkraven, which was the wrong decision, in my opinion. The pass was blocked, and I wish we'd, we'd gone for goal there, but it did fall to him. He did get a second attempt, um, but again, straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. And then Dyer, who was a pretty much a handful all game, going past two or three players there, hitting a shot, which looked bound for the top corner. Luckily for us, McCarthy managed to make the save. It was a very eventful first half. As you can see, only half hour played and all these chances. Mares tearing us apart a little bit there and a chance for James he makes uh, forces McCarthy into making a fantastic reflex save and then the follow up was blocked the ball going out wide for a corner really really good chance for Leicester to take the lead they have another opportunity here but again we managed to, to block the effort on goal and McCarthy shows good composure to get the ball clear but we go straight up the other end launching the counter attack we've got a lot of pace going forward seeing Craven's creativity in there as well he plays the ball to Balassi first time ball onto Jamie Vardy could he finish he decides to go on his left foot again. The shot was creeping inside the near post, but Kasper Schmeichel beats it out for a corner kick. But that's approaching the end of the first half here. Leicester are going to have the, the last attack, really. Set piece was delivered in, headed away. Uh, and then there was a shot from 35 yards, which McCarthy was able to gather the ball easily. So once again, it's 0-0 at half time. It's been solid. Could be anyone's game. Both sides have had chances in this one that you really get a feeling that one goal could win this game but just after the hour mark Wilfred Sahar with the chance to break we thought he'd use his pace and disappointing here that he's out muscled by Dyer. I know Dyer is quite strong and very very quick but we'd like Zaha once he got the wrong side of the defender to be able to hold him off but up the other end now just 15 minutes to go the first uh, first half was certainly a lot more exciting than the second a lot more open um, but there were chances in this one you can see Inlair who come on as a substitute with the effort from the edge of the box forcing McCarthy to make another good save in this one and then Dyer once again showing his pace gets past Suarez far too easily cuts inside his man but Kurt Zuma executing a perfect tackle in the area to snuff out the danger had he got that wrong that would of course be a penalty but uh, Leicester have one last effort deep into stoppage time they chuck the ball into the box McCarthy punches it away and that is how the game finished so second half point of view we were disappointed didn't really create anything um, at all but uh, still another clean sheet it does show that the defence is a lot more solid than it has been in recent weeks so four points in two games not a bad return from this episode we will end it in the usual way of course with a look at the league table and that win over West Ham and of course the point to left has helped us up to fifth in the table um, Chelsea are top on 21 points then you've got Everton level with them Arsenal follow with Spurs in fourth. We're just one point behind both of those teams. So if we keep up this kind of form, we really can push on and hope to sneak into one of the European places come the latter stages of the season. But real surprise to see Liverpool still down there and Stoke. Liverpool just one point off the relegation zone. And Swansea in the bottom three as well. That's also a surprise with Sunderland and Watford who are the team at the bottom. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again next time.